other side of the Hudson, deep in the bosom of suburbia. I met a young girl, she sang mighty fine, tears on my pillow at Ave Maria. Standing by the waterfall at the Ramis Park, she was working for the friends of B.A.I. She was collecting the waters in a paper cup. She was looking for change, and so was I. She was a Jewish girl, I fell in love with her. She wrote her number on the back of my hand. I called her up, I was all out of breath. I said, come hear me play in the rock and roll band. I took a shower and I put on my best blue jeans. I picked her up in my new VW pants. She wore a peasant blouse with nothing underneath. I said hi, she said yeah, I guess I am. Forgotten F O R G O T T E N. Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. I didn't put it, I got thought <laughs> Have it now in two, three, one. There you go. I'll let you oh, <laughs> Forgotten fought oh, fought Goffrey. Fought Grappy. Fought Grappy. Unbelievable, totally terribly unbelievable. I took totally responsible. I feel, I feel, I feel in some way it's my fault that we're delayed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. hey, all right. Hey, Hi. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, good. <laughs> what is it in right now? Oh my yes, God. <laughs> <laughs> You're freaking me out, Dave. <laughs> John is very familiar with this. Oh yeah. Home sweet home. Huh? It does. <laughs> it's like a little <laughs> head hog. <laughs> wow. Oh, we're all feeling a lot more lively today, huh? <laughs> well, let me say hey, you guys. Don't leave it out there. That's great. Put it on her. Oh, yeah. I, can't, I can't even smoke with it. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I, I, won't, I won't torture you like that. But hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Good nice to, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Dave and Carrie, this is Mark. Mark, Dave and Carrie. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. All right. So, welcome to After Dark Mark. And uh, on this episode, uh, we had done a, uh, a show, of course, with John Bella and uh, Crystal Snow. And uh, we talked about Blood Fire Cemetery uh, stories. And I tried to get him to leak information, and he wouldn't do it. And he <laughs> drove me crazy. So that's what I'm trying to tell you right now. Look out, because I might take and get you to leak some information. But you're a producer, right? Correct. Well, I am. I you am are, as well. Yeah. You are and an actress. Yes, actress. Yes, yes. set nurse, location manager. Yeah. <laughs> so, so producer. Now that that involves a lot of uh, things that uh, you know, as opposed to director, where you know that's a different job. In production, you got a lot of responsibilities there for uh, this movie coming out in uh, what October two thousand eighteen. Huh? Yeah. John. <laughs> if not sooner. <laughs> I'm hoping, actually hoping for summer, like August, so we have time to grow a fan base. So by the time um, sep late September, early October comes, when people are like, hey, what's a good new horror movie to look at? People say Cemetery Stories. So I want us to get out there sooner. So as a producer, what, what kind of things go on? What do you do? What's your responsibilities? I guess that's what I'm looking at. Uh, it was... Uh take care of everything that John didn't already take care of. <laughs> you say come, up, come up with the last minute stuff. Uh, see that the entire cast, crew, everyone else is taken care of. You know, our basic, uh, what is it, set dad? You know? Yeah, yeah, and <laughs> yeah, house mom. Yeah, yeah house yep. mom and set dad. Yep. Um, the film would not be the same without you guys. You guys are fantastic. Oh, Thank, thank you. you. It was a blast. It was so much fun. The people were just awesome. Made a lot of really good friends and it was exciting. It was really exciting. Now is Nikki 
is is this this is a typical type horror movie, right? There's no clown around in here. Uh, excuse me, I have my ears messed up. But uh, this is your typical horror movie like creep show, right? I would say yes. Mm -hmm. A little comedy in there uh, along with it. Uh, is, there, is there any? Is there any comedy? I don't know. Well, it all depends. To me, in horror, there's a lot of comedy in horror, maybe not even in ten. And a lot of nods to basically the uh, uh, to the classic horror movie. A lot of nods, a lot of winks that uh -huh. I think people will get get some chuckles out of. Aha! Are you going to have a bloopers thing at the end? A bloopers reel? Yeah, we, we got some plans. We actually have a few things that uh, we did during filming that'll be wonderful for bloopers at the end. A couple outtakes. But I'll tell you what, we did a scene with a group of teenagers. Uh, it was it was hilarious. It was the very like the uh, like moment in in the in Bloodfire. Tell me yeah. more. You know, it's strong on that, John. Maybe you can, David. Actually, I was at work for that part. <laughs> I just showed up to a house full of people in lights. <laughs> well, the one thing that did happen, though, the very first scene we did with Tim Quill where he came in the house, he shut the door, and he was going back to uh, go outside to do the next take, and the door was wasn't open. <laughs> like the mystery things start happening again. Uh, one of many things broken. <laughs> well, now, yeah. another thing too, David, and uh, and I, I understand that uh, you guys uh, filmed uh, probably two thirds of this in your house, right? What have we? Yeah, yeah, there was. Well, yeah, we did. What it was two days of filming here? I think the first day was about thirteen. Hours of filming. It was yeah. So there was a good portion, and then there were some outside shots, and yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm trying to yeah. calculate how yeah. it all went because there were the outsides, and there were the insides, yeah. and then there was the retakes of the insides, and then the back forty, yeah. and yeah. It sounds like you're talking about one of the uh, cadavers that got disassembled there. <laughs> <laughs> and we just so, so did you uh did you, you you had this done in your house i mean that's that's a major inconvenience huh? all these people roaming around your house not <laughs> really not really i was yeah, um, the was one here for this yeah. for the first day and it was um it was well as he was military so i was used to taking care of a lot of troops and having a lot of people in in the house and it really, it felt like old home week to me. I didn't even think anything of it. It was, it was nice. It was nice. Nice, good. Well, I'm going to see your house when I see the movie, huh? Yes. That's up there, in, that's in Michigan, huh? Correct. Wow, Michigan. You guys do much fishing up there in Michigan? <laughs> I'm sorry. What was what? that? Do you do any fishing up there in Michigan? <laughs> A lot of people do. <laughs> Other people do. Other people do. We don't. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, out here, I'm out here on the desert. Occasionally, I like that. You know, other people would have trees and grass and lakes. You know, ordinary stuff. Rain. You know, I, I can't. I can't even <laughs> try to try to visit my memories of what it was like. You know, being able to go fishing. Or, you know, you're out in the woods. You got. You, is your house in a suburb or in the woods? I mean, is it an old style house or is it like place, You know, where they did a new suburb type house. It's a uh, it's a more modern 85 house, but it's out just on the edge of town, out far enough where you don't have neighbors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, surrounded by trees. Nice, nice. Did you get any shots outside for, for uh, outside your place there, actually, for the, for the movie? No, the shot list you're going to have to refer back to John. Yeah, we'll, we'll let John answer <laughs> that yeah. and see what he wants to reveal. We're not going to get stuck with revealing anything. Right. No, actually, all the uh, cult scenes were done outside on their property. I could say um, we posted a picture or two. Dave and uh, Maddock, our FX guy, did a phenomenal job. They spray painted a perfect pentagram on the ground. That's in Tylerwood right in the middle of badass. That's what yeah. I was thinking. I was thinking now, see, that's why I asked, because 
you guys doing pentagrams on the ground and stuff. Neighbors walking through the woods are like, oh my God, what the hell's going on here? What's going on? Well, if he walks through the woods, he deserves to be in a pentagram. That's what uh, happens yeah. when you trespass. You shouldn't yeah. trespass. Yeah. <laughs> you don't the, know what you'll find. The deer are freaking out right now. But, uh, yeah, the deer, the <laughs> raccoon, and possum. We've created, you know, the woodland creatures. But yeah. Don't forget the owl. <laughs> oh, my God, oh. the owl. Oh, yes. We have an owl. We have to explain some wildlife to a couple of the actors. The city folk. Yes. The city folk weren't sure what to make of it all. Right, right. I'm pretty dope about the wildlife out there, that's for sure. A couple of the girls were like, oh my god, what is that? And one of them screamed and then a coyote responded back. Yeah. <laughs> I was pretty surprised the cops didn't show up, to be honest with you, with all the screaming going on out there. It got a little loud for a bit. It did. It did. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> So I can imagine you guys usually have some pretty wild parties, huh? Well, it's much louder than what we did Saturday night. It's, yeah. 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 Right. Music is yeah. always loud here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, speaking yeah. of wildlife yeah. now, speaking of wildlife and everything going on, you know, because uh, we affect wildlife with different things we do. Uh, do you think we're maybe uh, affecting deer's lives with these deer crossings? I mean, maybe they want to cross somewhere else. I mean, isn't it a case where the deer might want to cross is it do we do we have control where they cross or is that something that we should be doing these are the kind of pressing questions that are concerning me in in this thing here with the wildlife <laughs> well we live in an area where yeah every mile there's a sign so we grant them you know multiple crossing opportunities oh well see there you go that's country life see, yeah, and, oh. yeah it is it goes for 10 miles and every mile there's a sign and uh, there's normally a, a leave-in on or, what happens when you cross in the wrong or, spot. Or it'll say deer crossing next 10 miles. So yeah. the deer have 10 miles with which and they can cross. So, you yeah. know, oh, yeah. they, have free, they have a lot of rain over here. We have many signs, many crossings for them. They know where to go and where not to go. Yes. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> they have their crossing yards. <laughs> <laughs> you find the ones that don't follow the signs get in trouble. They get hit. No, yeah. no, these yeah. deer so are the Yeah, they're married. Yeah, they're Those are the married ones. Yeah, they're suicidal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think the right. squirrels want equal rights, don't they? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I swear. Deer. So, anyway, Blood Fire Cemetery Stories. Uh, due out next year, and we're going to keep coming back and uh, and haunting you uh, with more of these Zoom uh, episodes because you know right now I don't know what because mine isn't doing it and John and Crystal's isn't, but you guys are doing this great little gift thing. Okay, it's like every five or ten screens, boom, freeze. Here you go, and boom, move. There you go, and. Why are we doing that? We shouldn't okay, be. Okay, so now, so now, put your put your hands up like this for a second. Okay, okay. and then. Oh, there it is. Yep. There we go. There it is. There it is. Oh, there it is. Why are we doing that? Well, we are in the country. You know, the deer are running the internet out there. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> okay, I just want to make it clear. This isn't me because on the last show, John and Crystal in the beginning were stalling, so I used Max Headroom. You know, I was like, you guys are doing a little bit of Max Headroom. But your audio is real good, so it should be great on the show. And thanks for being being here. I wish we could talk longer. We'll do it again. You know, we'll, we'll be back again. But right now, if I don't go get my wife, she turns into one of those creatures on one of your horror shows. And my life is is, is a, an actual movie that you should get those shots from. And there's no humor, okay? No humor. No humor. Well, there. we do have the next segment coming up. <laughs> I'll set the video up there and send you some action shots. There you go. Hey, so, okay, I, I decided to make you wait 15 minutes because I just haven't spent time. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for all the mentions. David Keery were also on set photographers. Their LLC is Forgotten Photography LLC. Oh, yeah. Uh, in you can reach me at ForgottenPhotographyLLC.com. Uh, but uh, yeah, they did a fantastic job in, in 
that's where I get my uh, straight jacket pictures from, and uh, they, they do awesome work. Oh, I love that that uh, that you started off with that thing on your head. That was awesome, Chris. What's <laughs> going on with your screen? Where your it just says Crystal Snow. Yeah, oh, no, that's yeah. What I see. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> and there's a plug. What are they doing? They're doing something back there. <laughs> they're doing something. What are they doing? I will try that out. I'll put up. <laughs> for the, for the, yeah, for the next one, we will get our video. We'll try and get the yeah, video we'll get straightened the video again things. for you uh, oh, next time, so we're not gifting at you. Yeah, because you're fine. <laughs> I don't understand what this is. Well, you know, you never know. On the recording, it may come out without the stills. I don't know, but I doubt. Oh, great! Then I was making funny faces for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, I got all those. I got all those. Here's one for you. Talking, playing Crystal Snow. Can you see us again? No, no we're just no, Crystal no, Snow. What's going Crystal. on here? The representative text of Crystal Snow. Yeah. <laughs> collaboration. Sometimes I like for you to share some stuff too. So I'll get you guys on my Facebook page. I gotta, gotta cut somebody off. I'll ask them. Yes, you Good. do. Yes. You need some room. The weak ones need to go. <laughs> <laughs> and then the shark patrol and uh, clear the waters there. But we'll get you up there and then we'll start sharing stuff. So, but I got I got to run. And Crystal, you look good in text. By golly! <laughs> oh my God! Thank oh. God! Oh, was yeah. Thank was you for this there. opportunity. It was nice meeting you. Well, nice meeting you. You're lovely and David. Nice meeting you. And uh, nice. I will uh, I will try to have this show up by uh, next week. It's a little preempt to the. Uh, Thanksgiving show, and then maybe we can get another spot, you know, on the Thanksgiving <laughs> show where I have you step in. Oh, look, there she is. Oh, there wow. you are. oh my God, Crystal, fix your hair and pull your top back up. My God, what the hell? <laughs> we had to have our moment of uh, mystery there for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, well, hey, this is great. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It has been fun. Yes. Well, you know, the most important thing about being on my show is that the guests mm -hmm. have a good time. They help with the bands, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys lose us again? No, no you're the there. there. Oh, okay. okay. At least he was in the screen this time. The damn show, him and Tim, Will and Crystal, he was completely outside the screen. Did you get me? I don't know, John. <laughs> well, yeah, it's important to have a good time. So thanks for being on this. And, uh, you know, say hello to everybody out there at After Dark Mark. And we'll be back. So this has been John Bell, Crystal Snow, Carol, and David. Now, now look, this is where I always screw it up. Okay. Carol. Oh, it's Carrie. 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 See? Carrie. See? There you go. <laughs> See? Ha <laughs> ha. There I am. <laughs> Carrie and David, what's your last names? Esmond. Esmond. Esmond, yes. Esmond. Wow. So you're like, I'll remember you as Carrie, like from, of course, Carrie, the movie, right? You know, yeah, Esmond as Superman. <laughs> Esmond. <laughs> Esmond is the king. As long as you're. Yeah. All right, now, all right. We, now we all blipped out. Everybody's everybody's screwing up on me. You guys are blipping. Crystal's giving me text. I got my face <laughs> up. Like, look at me. Oh, <laughs> all right, everybody, you've been a lot of fun. i got to get out of here. My wife's going to kill me, so if you see me in the obituaries, send flowers. Will you please? I like gardenia. All right? All right. Great. Have a good day, Mark. Great Esmond, David Esmond. Crystal Snow, John Bella, Winston over here, and we're out of here. Have a good night, everybody. Have a dark morning. Good night, guys. Bye-bye. Bye, -bye. Good night. Bye good night. guys. Good night. Bye. See you, Dave Carey.
You know, statistics prove that over $2 billion a year is spent on household pets. They even have pet cemeteries. They got one out here that's run by a fellow that looks just like me. Oh, just in time. <laughs> Hello, Sunnydale Pet Cemetery. If your pet croaks, then we is the right folks. <laughs> is that your rabbit died? I told you not to call me at the office, Gloria. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> oh, the buzzer. <laughs> yes? Mr. Digby, would you come in a minute, please? Could you say that again, please? <laughs> Mr. Digby, would you come in a, please, a minute? <laughs> Just once more, we'll get it right. Mr. Digby, would you come in a minute, please? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Folks, uh, hey, just take a seat. I'll be right with you. I'm going out. I'll be just make yourself at home there. Honey, are you sure this is the right place? It says Sunnydale Cemetery. Oh, Willard, I'm so upset. <laughs> now, now, dear, now, Uncle Harry lived a long and happy life. He was 86 years old. I mean, it's hard to believe that old Harry Schnauzer won't be with, around us anymore. <laughs> he was my favorite uncle. Look, honey, you're getting much too emotional. Why don't you go back in the car, and, I, and I'll just take care of the funeral arrangements. Thank you, Willard. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Sit down, won't you? Please sit down. Now, what can I do for you? I'm here about the, uh, the Schnauzer funeral. Well, you're in the right place. You know, we just buried a Schnauzer the other day. <laughs> really, I didn't know there were any other Schnauzers in town. Oh, yeah, there's lots of them. How old was your loved one when he passed on? Uh, 86. I know the Schnauzers were a hardy breed, but 86. Tell me, was he fixed? Well, he made a nice dollar, yeah. Was his nose wet? I never thought to feel it. Hmm. Well, what's your fondest memory of him? Could he catch a ball in his mouth? Yes, he could. Uh, I, I really, I don't understand. Well, tell me, when we lay him to rest, is there something we can put in the box with him? I, I don't know. Well, tell me, did he have an old sock he liked to chew on? <laughs> I don't think so, but if it's important, I'll ask my wife. <laughs> Just one more thing. Was he a hunter? As a matter of fact, he was, but I, I don't see what that has... Well, that's good, because we have a hunter special this month. We bury him with a rubber duck in his mouth. You know, I, I really wish you'd take a more serious attitude toward this, Mr. Bigger. Well, have you ever considered having him stuffed? And put on your mantle? A lot, a lot of people are doing that now. You're kidding. <laughs> no, we give him little buttons for eyes. You know, it's very effective. Mr. Digby, uh, you've insulted my uncle for the last time. <laughs> uncle? Hey, mister, you're in the wrong place. This is a pet cemetery. You did slip him all the way down here. He loved animals, you know. 